Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders is showing us again this morning that his campaign is different. The Vermont senator could not leave Washington, so he streamed a speech to thousands of small gatherings around the country. Nancy Cordes is in Washington, where she talked with Sanders after last night's big gathering. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. And the campaign is actually billing this as the largest event for any presidential candidate so far this season. Nearly 105,000 people RSVP'd to host or attend house parties across the country, partly to hear Sanders speak, but more importantly, to get their marching orders. Tonight really is an historical night. Sanders was beamed from a living room in southwest D.C. to as many as 3,500 other parties. Allentown, Pennsylvania, New Orleans, Lakewood, Ohio, Arlington, Massachusetts, Los Angeles. Talk to your brothers and your sisters, your co-workers, your family members, bring them into the movement. Senator Sanders has big crowds, but a small budget. The crusader for income equality and a $15 an hour minimum wage raised $15 million last quarter, compared to Hillary Clinton's $45 million. His skeleton staff was struggling to convert the energy at his events into an army of nationwide volunteers. So last night, they deputized the volunteers to organize themselves. If you want to be a coordinator, we will give you how-to guides, support, training, and materials so you won't be on your own. Excited to be here. Oh, good. We're glad you're here. At a beer hall in Brooklyn, 150 supporters watched on a projection screen. Engineer Axel Jensen got the message. I'm planning on doing whatever I can to get him elected. It's however possible that is. Sanders himself spoke from a packed two-bedroom apartment where the kitchen sink served as a cooler and the host made drinks in the hallway. The drink's name is Bernie's Paloma Cocktail. As in Bernie Sanders? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it kind of feels like a little bit of grassroots. It's kind of an atypical campaign event, fit for an atypical candidate. Do you think that this can narrow the gap between you and some of your more well-funded opponents? It does, yes, yes. I mean, at the end of the day, they will have more money to put more TV ads on than we will. That's true. But if we can assemble and get a hundred, hundreds of thousands of people out on the street, you know what? We will win. Sanders has been gaining ground in early states, trailing Clinton by just 10 points in New Hampshire, according to a poll out this week. But to get his supporters to the polls, he's going to need a fleet of operatives on the ground, whether they get paid or not, Gail. All right. Thank you, Nancy. Seems like a kind of genius way to reach people, don't you Absolutely. think? Absolutely. Yeah. C certainly got the enthusiasm.